Hi, I'm Gene Ham, and I, I wrote a book a few years ago called How to Get a Job in Animation and Keep It. And uh, since you've got <laughs> not a whole lot to do right now, I, I thought maybe I'd read you a chapter. Uh, this particular chapter is How Steven Spielberg Landed His First Job in the Movies. And there's the illustration of the chapter. So, the story goes that Steven Spielberg just loved movies as a kid. He made several movies starring his friends and his dad when he lived in Arizona. When he was a teenager, the family moved out to Los Angeles, and Steven was fascinated by the Universal Studios tour. He wrote it several times. While most people are just uh, hoping to spot a movie star or catch a movie shoot on progress, Stephen was studying all the side streets and mentally noting the lay of the land so he could sneak into the studio. Now, if you've ever been to the Universal Studios tour, you probably remember seeing the Psycho House at the top of the hill. That is the house above the Bates Motel from Alfred Hitchcock's classic horror movie. Just over that hill is the end of Universal Studios property, where a cyclone fence separates it from a residential neighborhood. After scouting the neighborhood, Spielberg parked his car down the street, walked between two houses, and found a place in the cyclone fence where a hedge obscured the vision of prying eyes. He wore gloves and heavy clothes that would protect him from climbing the fence. Contrasting with these clothes was a nice attache case, which he proceeded to toss over the fence onto the soft, grassy spot. He climbed to the top of the fence and quickly dropped down next to his attache case. What he had in the attache case was a clean suit. He quickly changed behind the convenient hedge and then wearing his business suit, walked on down the hill and took his own tour of the Universal lot. If you're sneaking into a place, you don't furtively look around to see if anybody's watching you, or you'll just telegraph that you're someplace you shouldn't be. You walk around confidently, look people in the eye, and act like you own the place. And that's what he did. He covered every square uh, he covered every square inch of the studio lot. When he left to go home, he walked out the front gate and said goodbye to the guard, so the guard would remember him. The guard thought he had come in on the other guard's shift. Other days, after sneaking in the back way, he would stick around until it got dark and walk out the front gate and wave goodbye to the night guard. So both guards thought he had come in on the other's shift. After a couple of weeks, he started walking in the front gate. He would wave to the guard, and the guard would wave back, because by now the guard thought he worked there. Among the places that uh, Spielberg visited on the studio lot were the prop department and the printing office. Producers and directors come and go at Universal as projects start and finish, so there are always some empty offices. Spielberg found an empty office. At the printing office, he procured some requisition forms. He filled out requisitions for furniture from the prop department, he also scored some artwork for the walls and a nameplate for the door, one for his desk. He would leave the door open so people walking by would see him busily working in his office. He then uh, he began hanging out on some sound stages, observing the directors shooting television shows. If you hang around long enough, a director is going to ask you, What do you stand there for? Why don't you help? Spielberg was happy to help with anything. He began doing various jobs for one director. Each job he was asked to do, he did well. After a while, the director found this kid was indispensable. He called Spielberg over one day and, and said, Kid, I'm going to see that you get a raise. Spielberg confessed to the director, uh, I can't get a raise. Why not? Uh, I would have to first uh, receive a salary before I could get a raise. I don't really work here. I snuck in on the lot. The director was taken aback and was silent for a long moment. Spielberg's heart was in his mouth. He was sure he would be escorted off the lot and into jail. 
The director thought about it and finally spoke. Kid, I can't get along without you. I'll spot you to get in the union. And that's what he did. Spielberg became an assistant director and then was allowed to direct some TV episodes of Marcus Welby, Night Gallery, and Columbo. He graduated to directing the movie of the week, Duel. Then he directed his first feature movie, Sugarland Express, and then had the monster hit Jaws. Last time I heard, Spielberg seems to be doing fine. I heard this story when I first worked in Hollywood. It may have been apocryphal, which means bullshit. I have heard different versions of it, but it illustrates that if you have a combination of talent and perseverance, you can go far. Warning, you shouldn't do this now, since 9-11 security has tightened up at the studios along with everything else. Thank you.